Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, today's video is going to be a short video regarding uh, Caden Live, the wonderful cross-platform and open source video editor available for Windows, Linux, and somewhat recently also at Mac OS. And uh, we're gonna be looking at how to set up custom keyboard shortcuts so that it, you can really speed up your editing workflow. Now, the 80-20 law has a lot of uh, different uh, meanings in different contexts, but the, uh, the, the usage it's often made of regarding video editing software is that you use 20% of the features 80% of the time and certainly in my experience editing within Caden Live, it's very true. There are some features I barely use, some I've never used and there are other ones like audio normalization for instance that I use literally every single video I edit in Caden Live. So let's jump into Caden Live and uh, just to show you if you haven't already played around with this uh, pretty useful feature. So you're going to go into, you're going to go into settings here and under settings um, at the very bottom there you have configure Caden Live and it's not that one, it's uh, three up, configure keyboard shortcuts. There's even actually appropriately a keyboard shortcut to get into the keyboard shortcut editor. And this is it. Now what you can do if, if you have um, something that you, you know, literally all the features within Caden Live are documented here, right? So, if I even go into effects, for example, audio normalization, for example, this effect, I can actually configure a keyboard shortcut to normalize my audio. Now, the ones the ones I'm constantly using uh, is a cut clip, and I have that set to Control R. And you can see uh, if you have a custom shortcut, you can either type something out on the keyboard, use the default shortcut. The default shortcut is Shift R and I've changed mine to control R. And if you have a shortcut and you say it's no longer working for you, you don't use it anymore, you can just hit this little delete icon, it'll take rid of the shortcut. And then this is how I set a shortcut. So you can see what the what the hover text says, click on the button, then enter the shortcut you would like in the program. So you just type it. So watch this, I'm gonna click on the button. It's now changed to input, and I'm typing now on my keyboard control R, and there you go, it's been set, and I'm gonna click on OK. That's pretty much all there is to it, but just for the sake of, uh, you know, um, thoroughness, let's just do one more, configure keyboard shortcuts. Now, if I wanted to normalize, you have to think a little bit creatively here in terms of what uh, keyboard shortcut could you set that firstly makes sense, so, you know, Control N, because normalize starts with an N might make sense. What you can do is I often use the window key, on my keyboard, so it comes through in Linux as Meta. So what I did there is I held down Windows and I and then I pressed N, and now I can just click Windows N because I don't use the uh, Windows key. So basically, you set these intelligently. You don't want to set keyboard shortcuts that are going to interfere with other programs in the operating system. But I do highly recommend it if you have a custom keyboard. Some other software, for example, um, Adobe, the Adobe software, people often buy custom keyboards for them with a ton of macro keys. So you can sort of emulate that functionality if you have a full-size keyboard and it comes with, let's say, a few macro keys. Well, brilliant. You can set those up as six editing shortcuts. And if you're editing clips every day in Caden Live for whatever reason, I promise you it's going to save yourself a ton of time accessing your most commonly needed features. Hope that video was useful. If you want to get more videos from me on Caden Live, videography, and a bunch of other subjects, do consider hitting the subscribe button. Thank you guys as always for watching.